Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Kai's Rick as the left KMT. So the Qing are currently justifying a war against us. As just as we're out on the outside of Chongqing, this this is their moment to be like, you know what? This is the time when I want to start making moves. And I hate it. I hate this so much. Give me better rifles. I guess we'll take the 39 artillery. I need Chongqing. We are getting another 24 stack. Which we're going to need to deploy against the Qing as quickly as we possibly can. Afterwards, we're basically just going to let the um, Yunnan march their way into Szechuan clique. They, that's fine by me. I don't actually want Grand Battle Plan, right? I need to save up. I need to save up for you guys. We need 100 political power for you. 93, 94. Penny is joining the Entente. Are any of you guys leaving Chongqing? Yes, you are. I need the, I need the city. You don't understand. I need it. I'm doing something. Okay, deploy these units. How many guns do we have? Negative 47. So be it. I need... We're going to go with a 4-2. Draw up the longest line you possibly can. I think this seems good. We're going to set you to be the purple army. Please deploy as quickly as you possibly can. I just need troops on the border. That's really what all That's all I need. Okay? I need that and I also need Chongqing. So if you could grant me those two things, I will be your best friend. Because once this falls, we can annex Chongqing. I don't believe the Qing have a claim to any of this territory, so we're going to take literally everything here. Thank you. Confirm an exit. Now, now that we've taken this area, do we have... We'll first get army reforms. Can I get any allies? The answer right now is definitely not. So I need green army to have troops here. And you know what? We'll even have half of you go down here as well. Military factories, we just need rifles. Literally, that's it. I will trade one factory for some steel with the commune, but that's really about it. We're going to let Yunnan march their way into uh, the old Szechuan's territories. That's fine. Purple's mostly going to... How many troops does Qing have? 11 to 60? I mean, we, we do have a, the same number of divisions. Now, does the Qing have better divisions? That is entirely possible. I mean, if I could kill Yunnan now, that could be pretty huge. I mean, Red says they feel pretty confident, but like none of this area actually is core. So what we're really trying to do is just take Kunming. How much war support do you have? 39? So you gotta get you down to 26. Which is basically fine. I want you guys marching this way. I will say, purple is not a good army. Like, in, a, in any respect. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, keep you guys here. Drag you out by one. No, I still want you here. I'm feeling pretty confident still. Is that confident misplaced? I mean, potentially, yes. Are you a Yunnan city? You are. Also, Middle Africa is currently exploding. What? Wait, who are you? That is a new flag. Also, wait, what is it? We're 51% world tension. Weekly stability goes up. Absolutely. I wonder if I actually have more green army troops down here. Because I think green army, if we can take on... Yeah, you not as quickly as possible. Peace conference is over. Okay, this, okay, that that's about Middle Africa's dead. That's fine. Revive you, Naval Academy. We get a hundred trucks. I mean, that actually could be useful. Artillery upgrades, land doctrine, a free army experience would be nice as well. Give me. No, actually, you take two civilian factories away. 
We get we get him back from you. You know what? Actually, we got a lot of good stuff here. See, right, let's actually try to reconstruct our uh, economy a little bit here. And actually, let's see if we can have you march your way down towards the border of Vietnam. If we can get all of these Yunnan troops kind of stuck. Actually, you know what? Let's have all the Red Army just march right now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like, as soon as we killed one of the two, Szechuan or Yunnan, taking out the other member is not going to be that difficult. Which I did know, you know, kind of going into this. Your way to Kunming this way. Surprisingly, they never moved into... Ah, shit. <laughs> they never moved into uh, Hainan. So, Purple, how are you actually feeling about a conflict? I know your units are not... They're not... We have 4,000 guns. Again, I know these units are ass. But I need more troops. So, we're just... I mean, if we can kill Yunnan... If we can speed race a, uh, a victory here... Speed race? What the fuck am I talking about? If we can speed run victory here... We can then move all of green and all of red up towards the northern border. I think MacLeek, hopefully, once they've killed Mongolia, will join our side. Opening up another front against Shangxi and the Qing. Green army, we want you guys to be moving your way up north. So I want you to advance. I think my answer is no. We just need to kind of hold on for now. You go down to Mengji, go down to here. You go take this city. Excellent. And again, you're just going to... Everyone's just basically moving away to Kunming. I don't know if that's going to be enough to kill you, but it's going to do decently. I'm going to be happy with that. Do I have Purple Army do last stand? I don't think I do. You're at 18%. Once, you're, once you have the supplies, we're going to deploy you immediately. 2,000 guns. We're just going to do one row of you for now. Deploy immediately. We're going to set you under... Do we have a good defense commander? Yes, we do. You're going to defend this line. You guys can be the white army. We deploy as quickly as you possibly can. Green army, I think if you can move your way down south or from the southern front northwards, I'll be happy to see it. I want you moving over here. Yunnan is currently halfway dead. Qing government has 5% collaboration in Shangxi. This will reduce Shangxi's surrender limit by 1% and 5% compliance when the enemy capitulates. Sure. What, whatever you say, man. I want Green actually to have force attack because I just want Kunming. Now, I don't know if that's going to get the kill, but if it does, our life is going to become a lot better. 100%. We want you moving towards Beijing. I think Red Army wants kind of supporting the uh, central plains here. We're at 99% capitulation. Not a huge surprise. Kunming is fallen. Yunnan has collapsed. Excellent. Take all states. Submit those demands. Oh, my lord. The revolution, baby. It is on. Okay. Green Army is going to move their way up north. Red Army, you're going to deploy into central plains. Moving your work towards the Shangxi border. Move up there as quickly as you possibly can. Um, our intelligence operations. I want you to root out resistance in our newly acquired territories, please. Beta 3rd NRA. After the failed Northern Expedition, the remaining members of the 3rd NRA return to Yunnan in order to build up a new career within Tang Zhao's administration. And with the province under our control, we have an opportunity to reintegrate the lost members of the KMT into the NRA. Absolutely not. Recently promoted. Only reliable generals. Um, they can avenge their failures. So we're basically... Okay, only get... Actually, we don't need that many generals. So you know what? Only get the most reliable. 43724. Do you have better than a 42? What's actually it's kind of funny is they've given us so many commanders... They've, they've given us so many commanders that I like. I don't know how we're even going to ever use all of them. Okay, Washington's collapsed. We redistributing the warlord assets. Sounds good to me. What do we need next? Nationalized railroads. Let's go mechanized units. Get 100 trucks. We're going to shrink Purple's line ever so slightly down to this. We'll only have white army units in the north. 
Maybe we need more trains. Yeah, but purple army. Who's just fighting war against us now? Defending government. Wait, against me? You should fight. You should just fight war against the Qing first. Because if we can get the Qing into a two-front war, we will be looking significantly better. Okay, red army is going to be deploying. Honestly, I think green army can be pretty goddamn aggressive when they actually all get up here. The southern front is pretty exposed. Maybe we move our way into Szechuan. Or Shangxi, I guess I should say. Mac Leek will hopefully be able to will be hopefully be able to win their uh, front against Mongolia. And reconciling the Gu brothers. The Gu brothers are a political family of Kuomintang loyalists from Guangzhou. The two young brothers, Gu Zhenyun and Gu Zhenggang, studied abroad in their youth at the Sunny University in Paris for joining the RCA in its exile phase. They became prominent organizers within the uh, RCA, often doing the dirty work of Chen Gongbo, and are many rising stars for the radical factions. The other brother, born over a decade prior, went to a different path. Uh, Gu Zhenglun entered military school for about four years after the birth of the uh, first younger brother, starting in Japan and participating in the Xinhai Revolution. He fought under Sun Yat-sen in the Constitutional Protection War. Uh, the lead member of the right-wing faction of the Kuomintang, he became lo locally famous for organizing the Jeremandre in Yunnan. And giving them the motto, don't lie, don't cheat, keep your duty, and remember your duty. We have loyalty to the nation, or the bonds of family cannot be erased. We get military police for free. I'm, yes. I will take you. We got military police technology. I'm not going to say no to that. Purple or red army, I should say. You need to get to the front a little faster. Please and thank you. And white army. You're in a bit of an interesting situation. I do want to see if we can, you know, move our way towards Beijing. You two go into White Army. How many guns do we have? Negative a thousand is not great. The draft law and disposition of rebel property. To the victors go the spoils. And with the Kuomintang's victory in the five provinces, they see the copious amount of treasure from the feet of warlords and fleeing bourgeoisie. Even if sizable quantities have been stolen, evacuate or stash abroad in advance. In addition to liquid assets, there's gold, jewels, and cash. We were talking nationalized capital infrastructure, such as railways, factories, and ports. Uh, especially targeting the hated foreign owned investments of the AOG. But as always, in the aftermath of the victory, now comes the question of dividing shares. The NRA commanders and various party commissars have been remarkably disciplined in protecting and cataloging seizures uh, to the best of their ability. Even as the count goes on, a case of fraud have emerged. So we can stabilize the government or we can stabilize the people. You know what? Return it to the people. You want me moving this direction? I want you moving this direction as well. I know, I know, purple and white armies are not the best troops. Red and um, green are current, you know, loyalist. Not loyalist, but there are like elite troops. The needs of the people. The Kumasaka decision to redistribute these property have proven broadly popular, and with discussion within the halls of power, has turned towards how best to enact such a plan. Despite the social revolutionary's Italian principles, unfortunately there's already been plenty of backdoor lobbying on where to best spend the influx of uh, League riches. Keys of outright and misalization have been uh, punished, but a uh, focused direction becomes more and more necessary. As a general trend, the RCA and their allies in the CSP have pushed for an injection of cash towards urban renewal. In their eyes, winning the urban proletariat is critical for jumpstarting industry, giving it a production base to, uh, giving it to production base to win the Kumantang's future wars. They point out that focusing spending on a densely populated area is more efficient for a limited resource available in hand. The PAC and affiliate factions have called for a dispute of aids to the farmers, who they argue are the backbone of the revolution thus far. So, we can either power the uh, urban, keep things balanced, which is political power gain, supply consumption factory output, Leave it to the poverty, or we get factory output. You know what? Let's alleviate rural poverty for now. Having food resources is very important to fight any kind of war, any kind of revolution. So we want to make sure our our food surplus is looking pretty good. By the way, why do my units suck so badly? River crossing. You know what? That is completely fair. I'm not even going to, you know... I'm not going to argue with that one. How many units did Qing have again? 28 to 49. We're currently sitting at 70. Again, our units are not great. I'm completely willing to admit that. Actually, are you across the river? I don't believe you are. So maybe we can move you towards the... Uh, to get towards uh, Shangxi. 
I'd be happy to have that. Mexico, thank you for the equipment. Oh, so Mexico, what what um ideology are you? Are you totalist or are you um you totalist? Okay. Which is basically fine for us. By the way, having uh, the Dutch and Switzerland in the international, Germany is not going to be in a great position. Not in the slightest. We could maybe try to see if we can like meet these units together. Take sleepers form. Age of the left KMT are on a move. Are on the move. Ever since their victory over the league, the Kuantong and their allies have swelled in numbers. With pocket synthesizers scattered all over the nation, some are true believers, uh, educated in social promises, and Greece responsible with the status quo. Some are veterans of China's various Republican armies, who have thrown their lot in with a new hope. Many are graduates of Wampa, whose nationalistic revolutionary spirit have been awakened by the party's return. Still, plenty are simply men and women with their own private grudges, or perhaps brought off by the prospect of social mobility. Zhao Enlei has worked diligently in building his agency, a collection of men and women from various walks of life. Many senior officers are from the Red Squad and longtime party operatives. Those that have been careful to uh, select plenty of agents who do not have a long history of socialists, letting them blend in mostly inside the party and outside. Four operational sections have been created, the General Affairs section, the Information section, the Radio Communication section, and the Action section. Rageous men in dire times. Thank you for your sacrifice. Okay, finest hour. People are joining the Entente, that's a-okay. I wonder if I can move you kind of in this direction. Purple, let's meet you here as well. I will say, most of you are looking pretty good. Ching right now are at 98%, which, I mean, is not the best, but by no means is it bad. Okay, so let's see if we can get this pocket cleaned up. 59% is okay. And once you're all stuck in Wuhan, we can definitely kind of, you know, envelop you like a, like a snake. Also, Purple, did all of our units... Wait, Purple, where's your army registered? I mean, it says they got a full encirclement, but it does seem a little bit messed up. So, Changsha is one of our cities. But I do want to take Wuchang uh, where we can. Move you guys in. Move you guys in. You should start losing supplies sooner rather than later. And overall, I'm feeling very, very happy with how the uh, the war against the Qing went. Luck I mean, it's lucky for us that the Qing waited until uh, the Yunnan and Szechuan cliques were dead before they started their invasion. But I will say that at least for right now, this is going to be a great time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not enjoy, thumbs down. Do you want to see more? Subscribe. And goodbye.